In, uh, in 2012, I uploaded a video called The Hobbit in Minecraft. That video or animation sent me on a path into the world of creativity. Video games for me have always been a place to uh, create, to observe art, to escape, and make some of the best friends. And no game did that better than Minecraft. It started when I downloaded Minecraft and, and jumped into the world for the first time. I got blown up by a creeper right away, but I soon realized that you can do anything in this game. You can build a house, you can chop down a tree, or you can make movies with your friends. And that's exactly what I did. Being a huge Tolkien and Peter Jackson fan, I wanted to recreate The Hobbit in Minecraft. So we did. And it actually got kind of popular. This team has put quite a lot of work into making a series of The Hobbit within Minecraft. And that was the first time I realized, hey, this is pretty fun. I might be able to do this. What Minecraft allowed me to do was to practice making big budget films in a virtual environment, which meant I could pretty much do them for free. I didn't have to buy cameras. All I had to have was some friends online. And we were good to go. Eventually, I got hired by another Minecraft YouTuber called Music by Pedro. And together we started creating these Minecraft music videos. And this was the first time I got paid for doing something I loved. It was a great experience. So eventually after making short Minecraft movies, I wanted to make a feature film. Thus, Skies of Aurora, the film, was born. I figured this would be a good way to practice all of these skills that I'd been trying to learn and put it into one cohesive project. It was a daunting task at first, but through the help of a lot of friends, we were able to create it. An hour-long movie. And to this day, I'm still really proud of it. For the freedom of the world! For the freedom of those to come! For Aurora! Charge! But with that release, I knew my time making Minecraft videos was coming to an end. It had been a great four years of exploring filmmaking and making new friends. Through depression and happiness, Minecraft provided me a way of expressing myself through making. So the day I turned 18, I packed up my backpack said goodbye to my parents and flew across the country to Oregon. See, creating films in Minecraft was fun, but at the same time, it got old. Making a lot of money, but it didn't bring happiness. Sort of the common artist fate. So Oregon for me always has a special place in my heart. I practically grew up there some summers, and in my mind it was the perfect place to go to recenter my thoughts. And the best idea I had was to go out in the wilderness and spend a few weeks alone, walking on a trail called the Pacific Crest Trail. And this was the first time I was really alone, like really alone. Just me walking a couple hundred miles with my thoughts. Through thick and thin, that experience opened up my eyes and I realized I definitely still wanted to keep creating. So after that, I drove back home across the country, stopping in national parks and really just enjoying freedom. But I was also in that predicament of having to finish another year of high school and then having to pick a college and figuring out what I wanted to do with life. But on the flip side, I somehow landed my dream job as a graphic designer. So while juggling high school classes, I was able to just create more outside of YouTube outside of video games, and outside of Minecraft. And I remember one day I was having lunch and I came across this video from Oculus Story Studio. We are seeing the birth of a completely new medium. Storytelling in VR 
is much more complex. Virtual reality animation is basically combining animated films and video games so that when you put on this virtual reality headset, you're inside of the film. And the second I heard that definition, chills down the back of my spine, because I'd found it. Here it was, the next medium. So that's where I am now. Last year, I started a studio called Disrupt. The idea around it is to create a community of like-minded people that love to be online, you don't know the way. play video games, and most of all, create. I don't know what the future will bring, but I hope you'll join me for this next chapter. And if you can take one thing away from this video, Pixar's Pete Doctor can say it better than me. There are days you're going to feel sad, you're going to feel angry, you're going to feel scared. That's nothing you can choose, but you can make stuff. Make films, draw, write. It'll make a world of difference. Thanks for watching. All right, Goose.